I took my fifth shot of vodka to the head and waved the bartender over. When he made his way to me, I ordered two more shots. The only thing I wanted to do at the moment was get plastered out of my mind so I could numb the pain of the betrayal, brought on by the very person who should have had my back through anything. My sister Natalie was the only family I had in the world. Because we were all we had, I'd allowed her to stay with me for the past four months. While my sister looked for work, she depended on me for her day-to-day -day needs. So, I gave her a few tasks to help carry her weight around the house a little. I knew if I put too much on her, she would crack under the pressure. She was never the responsible one. I figured I should ease her back into the real world, since she had been off the grid for so long. Like I said, I didn't ask much of her. Keeping my house clean and running errands were among the things I wanted her to take care of for me. Paying the bills was one of the errands I left up to Natalie. Thinking she could handle that was my first mistake. Not checking behind her ass for three months was my biggest. It wasn't until I came home one afternoon to know Natalie and no electricity that I realized I had been played. My curiosity and empty spare bedroom led me down a rabbit hole that ended with the discovery that not only had my electricity not been paid for three months, but my car was about to be repossessed and my mortgage was three months behind as well.